Luke and Tom here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel and we're in the southwest of England here with Wayne and Finley and we're gonna go do some sea angling. We're gonna be surf fishing here in the southwest of England. It's gonna be awesome. We just hopped to the car. We're gonna follow Wayne over to the beach just a few miles away. We'll see what happens. Next, so next few weeks. Oh, look at that. That's a nice shelf. It didn't drop off pretty deep. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, welcome to Chesil Beach. I really like this having someone else do all the hard work and I just have to point a camera. This is nice. Yeah, yeah we got the uh, rod holder here. Looks like something you use to launch a drone. And it's rough. You need to be above the waves. Yeah. Because every time the waves come in, it moves the shingle. Yeah. And if you've got your rods dying or your line slack, yeah. The shingle goes on top of your line and mm. then you're in all sorts of trouble. Well, it's pretty nice right now, but uh, that weather over there doesn't look so friendly. And it's, the wind's blowing right in our teeth. I think we're gonna get a little rain. Uh, check it out, you got a tackle box with a backrest so you can use it as a seat. That was awesome. Yeah, you want to demonstrate? Ooh. Lean back. Good. Yeah, look at that. You now, one of the nice things about surf fishing on a pebble beach is you can lay your reels down <laughs> and they don't get destroyed. We've got different baits we're going to use today. So these are peeler crabs. Uh -huh. So they're shore crabs. Is when they shed their shell, Mm. They know they're vulnerable to fish. Yeah. So what we do, we put like roof tiles, car oh. tires in an estuary in a river. Yeah. And then they come in at, at high water, and when they go out, we lift them up. This is a popper peter crab. Yeah, he's got that. He's got that new skin just right under yeah, the surface. Yeah. You can you can use what we call hardbacks, which are normal crabs. Yeah. But they're nowhere near as good. When they're obviously shedding their skin and peeling, yeah. they give out lots of scent. This is soft, so you can eat the whole crab and there's no bones in it when exactly, it's a peeler yeah, crab. Definitely, yeah. So sand eel. Okay, yeah. Okay, so these are little eels that live in the sand. There are lots of different types of rays like them in the UK because a ray is on the bot flat on the bottom. Yeah. And then we've got squid. Oh, classic. We've got a lot of squid in the area mm -hmm. at the moment and we have all year round on Chesil Beach. So we sort of match a hatch. Uh-huh. You know, it's a little cliche, but you know, you go to England, you gotta get rained on, right? Definitely. <laughs> oh, that's a nice rig wallet. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Tom, if you start to get cold, you just let me know and I can heat up the car and get you in there, okay? Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a roller, right? Designed yeah. to roll across the, the van? Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to present it on the hook. So you take off any little bit of shell. We use something called a bait needle. Just keeps everything in line and straight. Place it on like that. Gotcha. And then we use something called elastic, bait yeah. elastic. Get all the dingly bits yeah, all yeah. tied up. If we didn't put elastic around it when we cast out, it would just come flying off. Yeah, yeah, that's a real soft bait. So what you need to do is find the heaviest part of the bait to keep it streamlined, which is the bottom. Place the hook. And then what we do, we bind it on to the hook. That is a tight little package of crab goo. Yeah, I've seen it with salmon eggs in Alaska yeah, yeah. with the bait oh, elastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Beth lands. Here, Tom. I... Here you go. <laughs> 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 so what I'm going to do is thread it up, yeah, put them on backwards, because all the scent is in the big part of the head. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like doing it backwards because it means you can get nipped. So just a little tip, when you're using ragworms, which these are, keep them away from fresh water. Oh yeah, I'll so kill like them. the rain, yeah. just kill them and they'll explode. So this is what we call a loop rig. Mm -hmm. once, gotcha. once we've got it under tension on the rod, you'll see it. No, oh, okay, yeah, one's like a classic fish finder yeah. bit, you know, and then you got like a helicopter rig on the top. Yeah, yeah. Four. Wayne here is a professional angling coach, which is different than a fishing guide. Yeah, he'll take you out and help you catch fish, but it's more of a, a learning and teaching experience. It's 
a way to get better at fishing and that's really what they do here that's very common in the uk that when you go and you hire a fishing coach you get more of a, a learning experience as well as a fishing experience and so i like doing this when i come here to the uk because i always learn something new whenever i go with one of these angling coaches yep but working for the angling trust as a coach this is our fishing agency that run our fishing yeah at least you know that i've i've got my public liability insurance i've done courses it doesn't make me the best angler in the country or world yeah but it means i know i kind of know what i'm doing and i'm trusted it's not a fly-by-night operation yeah, 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 yeah i've had to do courses yeah and i'm a level two which is the top all right all right this is the this is the pulley rig this is slick stuff if, all, if i was just a cast or as loop was to cast with that guess what's going to happen it gets all tangled gonna yeah tangled. So we're going to loop it in this is called a splash down we'll show you that in a minute and now it's under pressure mm -hmm. cast yeah. like a dream Check out, this is a pulley rig system with a splash down. The hook gets stored in this little splash down clip and it releases the hook as soon as it hits the water. Yeah, that when it hits the water, this yeah. little thing pops up and it releases your hook. You can see in there. Yeah. And it pushes. Gotcha. Oh, there we go. So that's one. All right. cast it? Sure, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Well, we've got two rods soaking bait and the rain's past us, so things are looking up. We'll see if we can't catch a shark or a little flounder or all sorts of things. We'll see what happens. Got some birds diving over here. Oh yeah. Might be a group of mackerels pushing bait fish up on shore. While we got the bait soaking, we're gonna pull out a mackerel rig. It's just a sabiki rig with what they call feathers. We're gonna see if we can't catch some mackerel from shore. Ago, but I've been carp fishing so long I'm not sure I can remember how to hold a rod in my hand. So what Wayne does is he goes and changes his bait about every 20 minutes and of course you don't want to have your rod out of the water while you're doing that. So he goes and baits up another rig and then just has it so he can clip it on real quick. Let's him keep putting out fresh baits constantly. I want the fish to bite, so I'm gonna lead by example and eat some food. This is like the traditional takeaway lunch from Cornwall. Mm. They're like parsnips, potatoes, meat, gravy. These things are good. Tom, come here. So not only is Luke eating, so are the fish. Don't give him his life. Hey, thank you. Oh, oh, he come off. Well, where there's one, there's usually a ton. Stay close, we'll get you another one. Well, we just reeled in a rod to check our bait and you can see right there, a crab clipped off the hook. So we got a little spider crab action going on there. Hey, Finley, you want one? Sure. Yeah, yeah those are the best. No, yeah, you found some more fossils. That does look like a fossilized fish scale. Oh, hold on to that, that's cool. Tommy keeps finding fossils on the beach. And there's tons of fossils in this area. We're only about a mile from the Jurassic Coast. The weather has turned particularly nasty here and Tommy's getting cold. So Tom and Finley are gonna go in the car and warm up a little bit while we finish this off. I put Tom and Finley in the car to keep them warm. And uh, we're going to kind of do the slow pack up and see if we can't pull a fish out before we have to go. privates right there all right let's go see if we can get another one
It's the bone of a cuttlefish. Check that out. It just washed up on the beach. All right, back to catching mackerel. There we go, not too bad. Well, Wayne, thanks so much. We had a ball. That was, that was fun. I'm glad we did it. Listen, guys, if you're ever in the southwest of England and you want to do this too, make sure to check out Wayne. I'm going to put his information down in the video description below, including his YouTube channel, The Shower Hunter. So check that out. And uh, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming over. Thanks for booking me. <laughs> if you guys want to see more fishing videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, make sure to click subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified whenever we put out new videos.